Instagram, love it or loathe it. For photographers, it was always the place to get your work noticed. A place to showcase your portfolio, make connections and build your profile and your brand. Instagram was originally made for photography as a photo sharing platform. And for the last 12 years, all of you budding artists and content creators out there have been dedicating hours and hours of your time curating your accounts, crafting your images and writing meaningful captions and hunting down those perfect hashtags all to get those masterpieces you created seen by as many other photography lovers as possible. All of those followers you've accumulated over those years are now wondering why you haven't posted in a while, why they're seeing content from other people or businesses they don't know or don't care about. When Instagram decided that they were only going to share about 10% of your followers any of your content on their feed and instead show them advertisements or content that the algorithm deems relevant to keeping them on the platform for as long as humanly possible, or worse still, showing them those 15 second long TikTok wannabe reels of annoying teenagers lip syncing to rubbish pop songs or cats falling into goldfish bowls. The photography community finally said enough is enough. Let's find a platform that really appreciates good photography once again. Let's use a photo sharing platform that actually shares your content that other photographers actually want to see. Well, welcome to the world of Vero, a media sharing platform that doesn't use money grabbing algorithms that is free from advertisements and data mining to sell onto third parties. Hallelujah. So let's look at why photographers are jumping ship from Instagram to Vero. The main reason is quite simply that they seem to value photography and image quality. How many of you have uploaded your pristine images to Instagram and saw the quality get trashed by the compression algorithm, especially when posting landscape ratio images? I find it curious that images uploaded in this wide format appear to suffer more image compression than photos posted in the 10 by 8 format. I've been noticing this for years and I'm pretty tired of it. Compressed? versus very compressed. Vero instead uses very little image compression so you can upload your high resolution photos. And here's the kicker, you can turn your phone to view these HD images in all their glorious wide angles. Landscape photographers can finally show their portfolio images the way they're meant to be seen. And not only that, when you post multiple images in the post, the images can be any ratio you like, not forced to be all the same like Instagram. You can post a 10 by 8 and a 16 by 9 within the same post. Thank you, Vero. See Instagram, how easy was that? The preview image on the Vero feed does use compression, so there is a slight loss in quality there, but Vero lets you click on the image, which opens up the full resolution image. This can be zoomed in to see all of that glorious detail, and not just pinched like Instagram to see all that compressed 1080p. This high resolution magnification feature alone is enough to make photographers who care about quality move over to Vero. Now, I know what you're thinking. Vero is never going to overtake Instagram's reign as the number one photo sharing platform. So why bother, right? But hey, we all thought the same about MySpace 15 years ago when everyone was using that platform to promote personal profiles and creative businesses. And then Facebook came along and obliterated them into obscurity. The same with TikTok. I bet Instagram didn't see them coming either. In fact, TikTok's popularity has surprised Instagram so much that they're slowly but surely trying to emulate everything they can do to compete. Introducing reels, experimenting with 1080 by 1920 image posting to accommodate mobile phone photography, and being more mobile video driven in general. Photography has become a second thought within the Instagram app, and landscape photographers, well, you might as well not bother at all. Perhaps Instagram has just had its day and photographers are just bored of the same old frustrations from abiding by the algorithm and the limitations of the app which have always been there. Vero seems to do things better. They seem to care about the quality of the content and the user's enjoyment, not just their bottom line. Giving their users what they actually want, 
not what their board members want. Every app must start this way. I bet even Instagram's original creative developers must cringe now at what the app has become. A giant machine pulling in every direction with thousands of coders not knowing what the other one is doing. That's why the algorithm is so complicated to understand because nobody on payroll even knows how it fully works. Vero is even a great portfolio tool with the featured option which allows you to tag some of your best work to the top of your profile. Instagram has started to do this as well with the pinning feature, but you are limited to just three pins. With Vero you can have as many as you want, I believe. You can scroll these featured images along the top. Chronological ordering of the images on your feed is a much better way to view your images. Using the date feature, you can scroll back in time to a day when you were having a social media holiday day and catch any missed content. Something Instagram stopped doing for some unknown reason and then reinstated it with a manual settings override. Another really lovely feature of this self-proclaimed true social app is the ability to do shout outs at other creatives that you admire as a way of sharing talent with your audience. By clicking on the drop down menu from your chosen creative artist and then clicking introduce user, you can say something nice about them and why this user might be worth following. I really like this feature because it adds a sense of community. Now you might be wondering how Vero actually makes any money if it doesn't use advertisements. Well, one way is through commission based sales of items sold through the platform, much like eBay I suppose. However, the commissions are in single digits so it's not a heavy tax. Also the app will eventually be a subscription based platform. We're told that it's free for anyone signing up before the platform reaches 1 million subscribers and then it would be a small annual subscription of probably the cost of a bag of fish and chips. A small price to pay for an ad free photo sharing social platform. And this app is not just for photographers, in fact its reach is massive. Filmmakers, musicians, actors, movie trailer lovers, authors, gamers and outdoor explorers can take full advantage of the posting capabilities on Vero. And not only that, you can search this content by topic too. Really Instagram has missed the boat on so many levels. There is also a desktop app which is still in beta phase and a dedicated iPad app which allows you to view those high resolution images with even greater wow factor. So where does this leave Instagram and their photography based users? or any users for that matter. Up the creek and no paddle? All I know is that as a photographer who used Instagram a lot in the past, I find myself posting once every few weeks now. And with Vero being so photography friendly, that frequency could now drop even further. Listen, we all enjoy looking at good quality photographs. We even like looking at our own images from time to time and being proud of our achievements. But guess what? Those images just look better on Vero. That's it. That's all I need to be convinced of to switch platforms. So get on board while it's free. Head over to my profile and give us a follow and links are in the description. So that's your lot team. Thanks for watching as always. It's hugely appreciated. And give us a like to help this little video along. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for tons more photography based content. Over and out.